Hello and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Library. My name is Paul and I'm one of the reference librarians at the Himmelfarb Library. Today I'm going to be talking about advanced literature searches and the PubMed Search Builder. Let's get started. Go to our Himmelfarb Library website and click the link to PubMed under Popular Resources on the left. By default PubMed shows a search box that lets you type in keywords. But over on the bottom right you'll see a globe symbol that says Explore and underneath that the words MASH Database. Click MASH Database. It'll take you to a page that will allow you to enter the concepts that you want to search for one at a time. So an example for from public health might be a particular intervention to help people quit smoking. So we might want to start by searching for smoking cessation and if you're unsure about the headings that it matches to, you can always click on one of them. And if you scroll down, you'll see how this term is used. It's used for quitting smoking. And so over here on the right, we can see this box that says the PubMed Search Builder. This is where you'll want to click Add to Search Builder. It puts the suggestion up here and then you can put in whatever it is that you want to uh, search for. For example, let's say we're interested in the efficacy of a motivational interview. You could type that in here. Click Add to Search Builder. And I would recommend not putting more than two or three of these medical subject headings in this box before you click the Search PubMed button. So let's run a search on the database and it's retrieved uh, 150 results. PubMed has a variety of sort options. By default it's showing the most recent. We can click this display options button and change that from most recent to best match applying some sort of ranking algorithm that's going on in the background with the higher quality stuff showing up near the top. Here it's showing you a Cochrane systematic review at the top and below that articles from JAMA and from various public health journals. Any of the records in PubMed, if you click on one of them and scroll down the page, get tagged up with these subject headings when they are indexed into the database and this is what you're searching on with the medical subject headings. Uh, it's possible to try to identify additional terms to search with. You could do this in a variety of ways, but one way I want to display uh, to you is a tool called the Yale Mesh Analyzer. And so if you open a new tab and just Google Yale Mesh Analyzer, this is the link that comes up you'll see that it accepts up to 20 PMID numbers. So all the records in PubMed get assigned one of these record numbers called a PMID number. So to put 20 of them into the page I would suggest run a search in PubMed sort by best match. Click the display options link make sure you're showing 20 records per page. Click save and you see the selection defaults to results on this page so we know that it's going to be selecting this set of 20 citations. Change the format from summary to PMID and click create file. You'll see a little download. If I open it you'll see these 20 PMID numbers. Copy and paste them into the AOL Mesh Analyzer and click go. Each of the studies is now a column and each of the 
rows are the medical subject headings and this can suggest other subject headings that you might want to search the database for. So for instance tobacco use cessation devices comes up more than once. Motivation is another one. Health behavior is another one that I might be interested in. And essentially you can see that this Yale Mesh Analyzer can suggest other medical subject headings to search with. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Advanced Literature Searches and the PubMed Mesh Search Builder. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library where you can also find the associated slides. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session, or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact us at hemelfarb at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications Team, thank you for listening.